Hello everyone. I hope this message finds you fit and fine. My name is Shashank Tyagi and I welcome you all to Study IQ. Recently in a written reply to Raj Sabha, Ministry of Home Affairs has informed that there is no centralized data of detention centers in India. What does it mean? So detention centers are there in India. In various states they are functioning. Central government is not managing this data. This is the fact which is being shared. Now there is an explanation also why no, why no such data is being managed at the level of center. Then you should also understand the argument why there is such need in first place. So as of now, state governments are maintaining this data. But some experts are saying since matters related to citizenship are prerogative of union, thus union government should manage such data so that adequate policy responses can be managed. Now, to understand this whole issue, first we need to understand what are detention centers? Why this Foreigners Act 1946 is in news? It was in news earlier also when NRC debate was going on. What are these foreigners tribunal which are set up under this particular act? Who set up these tribunal? Who are declared foreigners. A good scope of information for upcoming exams, MCQ kind of questions can be asked from here, from direct information. From May's perspective, you should understand the gravity of this particular issue of illegal immigrant wholesome. Now, as you can see the headline, no centralized data on detention centers, that is what center has informed. But the point is explanation. Center has shared this information that we have already given this power to state government so that they can manage, they can build detention centers as per their requirement. It would be actually an easier way to handle this particular situation. This is what central government has informed, as you can see. Now, what are detention centers? First of all, there are two words here. One is detain, other is arrest. There's a difference between the two. Consider, you are sitting in your room and I am, say, local SSP and I consider you to be, you know, a sus I, I have some suspicion over you that you may create some ruckus in upcoming elections. So you have not committed any crime, but I may direct the local police that uh, this particular person need to be detained. So have you committed some crime? No. Can I charge you for some crime? Obviously no. Because you were sitting in your room, you were actually just studying. But you were detained. You may be detained in your home as well. Or I can say just be our guest in police station. But that won't be considered as arrest. That's just detention. I'm just restricting your movement for administrative convenience. But when I use the word arrest, it means you are being charged for some crime. Indian Penal Court, process mentioned in CRPC. So arrest is different. Now, detention center, why they are being used specifically? As you know that, that there's an issue of illegal immigrants, especially in our northeastern states. Here in focus, Assam. So now to resolve the issue, on the directions of Supreme Court, the decision was taken that foreigners' tribunal will be created and then there will be NRC. And this NRC means there will be a proper mention that, oh, these are citizens of India. Those who are not going to be part of NRC, it means those who are going to fail to prove that they are citizens of India, then they will be sent to these detention centers. So a lot of debate was going on, you know, in recent past. Now our focus is not NRC. Our focus is detention centers, some provisions which are in news, and what kind of questions can be asked in exam. Now, so I hope this is clear. They are deported to their respective country, means they are first lodged in detention center, and then there's legal proceeding. They may be then uh, deported to their respective country. It means our administration will talk to that particular country. 
Now, detention center, centers were set up in Assam, as I told you, after union governments authorized the state to do so under provisions of Foreigners Act 1946. So, detention centers being formed under Foreigners Act 1946 and the Foreigners Order 1948, Associated Order, which were released in 1948. Now, some key provisions of Foreigners Act 1946. It empowers the government to tackle this issue of illegal immigrants. First of all, you should have this question in mind. Why we have this necessity to send these illegal immigrants to detention centers and then to their respective country? My friends, there's a concept of citizenship. And why we have this concept of citizenship? So that government knows that, okay, these are the official responsibilities of the government and these are the people who are going to enjoy these rights. The conception of this detention to illegal immigrants is based on this idea, since resources of government are limited, resources of nations are limited. First, they need to be spent on the priority basis towards citizens, right? And the second idea is, if nothing clear cut, you know, if there's no clear cut policy on handling this issue of illegal immigrant, then it may create security problems in future. You might think, oh, does it mean that some of them may join some radical groups? It's, it is not just about that. It is also about conflict between the population which were living there and now the population which were living there originally will consider that their properties, their areas are being encroached by illegal immigrants. Their resources are being divided to, you know, with these illegal immigrants. So scarcity is connected to conflict. I hope all of you are aware of this, right? Now about this provision, it also empowers the government to take stern action. It means force can also be used, right? This empowers the government to establish tribunal. Tribunal, it means a quasi-judicial body. It means this body is having power of civil court. Its decision will be considered as binding, right? But it is not a full-fledged court. Why it is not a full-fledged court? Because it is not going to take matters which are and which are there in IPC. It is not going to function as per CRPC, right? Because conventional legal issues are not going to be heard by these foreigners' tribunal. That is why the purpose was to create tribunal, not the court. If you create tribunal, the size, or you can say, of cases, number of cases, will be specific in nature. Function of this particular body will be specific in nature. That is why tribunal are created, right? Similar. Now, this is another, you can say, a point of contention. As per this Foreigners Act 1946, burden of proof lies on you. It means, if a government authority, which is designated to give you a notice that, sir, please meet in foreigners tribunal, because we have suspicion that you are not Indian, so now, burden of proof is on you to prove that you are citizen of India. It is not the burden of that particular authority who have suspicion on you. They are not going to use their time to prove that you are not citizen of India. It is you, you have to prove that you are citizen of India. So this is a point of contention too. Now who can set up this tribunal? I think this can be an important you know, dimension, you know, a specific statement can be asked. There's a change in this power. Now, this power is given to district magistrates across states, union territories. Please remember it. Okay? Earlier, the power of constituting this tribunal was vested only with the center. This is the earlier provision. Okay? But now, this power is with district magistrates across states, UTs. Now, <clears throat> This is quite clear to you, quasi-judicial body. I have just explained this to you about composition. Who can be part of this tribunal? 
composition means this particular bench will be responsible to deciding the future of that particular person whether that person is a citizen or not so that there can be advocates but minimum age is 35 it means 35 years plus age and practice should be at least seven years as an advocate okay now retired judicial officers from the Assam judicial service why we are talking about Assam because this foreigners tribunal was created in Assam retired IS officers or you can say officers promote officers from ACS means Assam civil services officers who got later promoted as IS officers of the rank of secretary additional secretary they are having some experience of working in quasi judicial body in previous you know part of their career apart from this there's one other criteria that you should have know-how of language language mentioned Assamese Bengali Bodo English prevalent language you should also have understanding of the background of the issue which is prevalent there so now it is clear quite, quite clear to you that it is a quasi judicial body right earlier there was a body this illegal migrants determination by tribunal act 1983 but now foreigners tribunal has replaced it this particular information is in front of you because uh, examiner might play with you by you know mentioning this particular body as responsible okay you should be clear now who can approach tribunal so earlier state administration means government was having the power right they are going to lodge a complaint that this particular person needs to be investigated right these particular person need to be heard but now this power is with individuals also it means if NRC is being prepared right national register of citizens is being prepared and you think that your name should be added there then you should you can also go there on your own right so MHA since so, so this is a basic fact that 69 CRs were actually allocated by MHA for <coughs> creation of this foreigners tribunal now there are two things which we have discussed we started with detention centers and we ended up at foreigners tribunal my friends detention centers are present in various states in Delhi also we have detention centers I have been to a detention center way back in 2015 on inspection not detained there when I was working in office of minister social welfare so we went to this place this is on outskirts of Delhi a place called Narela so now who are detained there is it just that it is used these detention centers are used uh, for uh, in this NRC exercise no consider that you are a uh, you are a German citizen and you came to India on a six months visa and now it's been eight months right so your visa has expired technically you should have gone back but you have not gone back consider that you have mingled among sadhus in Kumbh right so that no one can find you but, but my our, our authorities are smart they may find you right and at that point of time you may be detained you may be lost into detention center in Narela Delhi right so it means if rules which are which are mentioned in foreigners act 1946 which are related to your entry your exit you living here if you break those rules then you can be put into detention center also okay and when you are put in detention center your government will be communicated means government our government will actually talk the embassy of your government and then they will actually find a way to you know, move you out of the country okay now this is one question directly connected to foreigners tribunal I would like you people to attempt this question answer of this question will be posted along with explanation in the telegram group as well as story if you have any doubt related to this topic or any topic so far I am there to help you whole team of study IQ is help is there to help you See you in the next video then. Keep learning, keep growing. Shashank Tyagi signing off.